The number of UK deaths has been rising at a faster rate than both Italy and China at the same stage of their outbreak, both of which experience unsustainable pressure on their health services. As we know, some regions are recording more deaths than others as of Saturday. In London, one in every 100,000 people have died, or that's 10 per million. The West Midlands has 5.4 per 1 million, followed by the South East, which has a ratio of 4.7. But within those regions, NHS capacity and the age of the population varies widely. Researchers at Oxford University have looked at both to identify the areas that could come under most pressure from COVID-19 based on recently published infection rates. These so-called hospital deserts include Paris, Northumberland, Rutland, Suffolk and the Isle of Wight, where hospitals could easily become overwhelmed. The research suggests some regions can cope with a higher rate of infection than others. For example, London, the worst affected region so far, can cope with an infection rate of 4.7% of its population compared to Cornwall at only 1.5%. But London's age profile varies widely from borough to borough. Harrow, for example, has an older population and Norfolk Park Hospital declared a critical incident on March the 19th after running out of intensive care beds due to coronavirus admissions. Whereas the London Borough of Newham has a comparatively younger population and might expect fewer hospital admissions. With the outbreak in the UK currently around two weeks behind Italy, the government will be asking itself what it can do to prevent our health system being overwhelmed in a similar way.